morning, everybody, and welcome to another at-home event here, shopping event. And I'm Expo Dave, and we have Miss Vicki Bill Good here. Good morning. And over here, oh, wait, we're missing somebody here today, everybody. Mr. Sean, actually Mr. Scrappy Boy, I should say, he's actually able to operate all this awesome equipment that brings you our at-home events. He and Tabor are at home today, and uh, he's in his SpongeBob pajamas, so don't yeah, let me fool you. The, they're taking the at-home literally. <laughs> yes, yes, there you go. But no, he, he is actually here with us yes. um, uh, one way or the other. So, But we're yeah. glad that you're here, and boy, we had... Um, a great St. Patrick's Day, yes, didn't it was we? So much fun. And we're Vickyville. Look, another great job. Easter. Bringing in the spring. spring. Yes. Exactly. All so. Full of Easter bunnies and Easter eggs yes. and the beautiful pastel colors. Yes. You know? And spring always reminds me of the peanut butter eggs, of course. <laughs> the yes. Reese's peanut butter oh, eggs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All that great candy we used to get. So. Oh yes. Yeah. I love Reese's peanut butter cups. They're my favorite. Yes. Especially the white chocolate. <laughs> yes, those are good. Those <laughs> are good. But we are. We're glad that you're with us, and we have some great vendors today, and I know you're going to be able to do some great shopping as well, and yes. they're going to have some great demos. Um, just a couple things before we get started. Um, Vickyville and I are live today, but all of our presentations are videotaped. So um, you uh, will be able to, as you're watching the video, if you have any questions for the vendors, you can sit and type away if you're able to and ask questions and they are there to answer your questions. And also if you have any questions about um, Expo, uh, Mr. Sean will be able to answer those and help us get through uh, any of those questions as well. Um, so I know that some of you are watching us on Facebook today and some are watching some of you are watching us on YouTube. So if you haven't signed up yet for our YouTube channel, you'll want to make sure that you do that and join our YouTube crafting family. So you'll just go to Stamp and Scrapbook Expo and you want to hit subscribe and then right down here in the corner there's a little bell and you'll want to click on that and every time we have one of our great at-home events on the weekends during the week you'll get a notification so you won't miss anything and then the wonderful thing about YouTube is if you happen to get busy miss something have to step out you can go right back and hit rewind and re and watch everything so you won't uh, won't miss out exactly so, so make sure you do that and then also we send out a weekly email with all of the great happenings and specials and things so you want to go to craft at home dot excuse me craft at home events dot com and sign up for our newsletter and you'll be informed so Amen. isn't that a great way to a lot stay of information in, stay in there dave you got I, that down <laughs> When we first had to say all that, it was like I wrote everything. <laughs> it was everything. Yeah. There was notes all over. And yeah, now you have yes. that memorized. Exactly. I'm so proud of yes, you. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, it, and it is. You know, um, like me, there's there's a lot of people that you know um, have become a little bit tech savvier yeah. during the at home events. So, right, but right. but we just want to make sure that that you are aware of when we do have some events and and. Uh, and yesterday you had a card swap. How did that yes. go? Yeah, yes. that was fun. I could hear him. He had uh, one of his, un what would you the call it? The reveal party. The reveal party, yes. and that sounded like a lot of fun. It was. We had a great time with our card swaps. What we do is, um, because we have 20 and 30 card swaps, we have a couple of layout swaps that that will be coming up. And what we do is, once we get a full swap, we send out information, and we actually have a Zoom, kind of a Zoom yeah. party event. And it's really great because we get to interact and talk and see friends, you know, and, and you know, yesterday, I, yesterday, even during the card swap, one of the guests shared an, um, a, a technique using um, colored pencils and mineral spirits. Had no idea. So um, we're always learning. Yeah, so, exactly. But it, it was, was so much fun. Yeah, so if you're interested in joining one of the swaps, they're, you know, they're a lot of fun. And what you do is you make a certain, like, whatever one you join, which yes. could be 20, 
30, or the, the, got the layout, line. Yeah. the layout is 10, I believe. 10 of each of those. So you make the same, you know, 10 layouts or 20 cards, and then you send them here to us, and then Dave separates them, and then he sends them back out to you with the different 20 or yeah, whatever. all the guests. And then you all get, to, it's really cool. I'm, I'm, I'm all yeah, talking about I know it. you love, but, no, that's good. But you get to see, you get a full box of different, everybody's different cards. And you get all these different new ideas. Yes. And it's just so, so fun. And then you have this Zoom party once there's the full 20 in that swap. And, you know, it's really interesting to meet new people. I know you had people from all over yesterday, and that's what's really nice. You get to meet new friends. and It is. We had people from 13 different states. Yeah. We had a 20-card swap and had 13 different people. So, um, and uh, we have... Um, and what was great about it, we had a small group yesterday, you know, because people were working and, yeah, you know, and busy. Yeah, of course, going back to work, a yeah. lot more yeah. people now. Yeah. But we had, we had um, uh, one of our croppers, uh, Barry, that comes to our Puyallup oh, show. Oh, Barry. And he's, he's working from home. He's going to be retiring, so he's going to be able to start traveling. Great. And maybe come to some more of our shows. Oh, good. And he and Sandy, so who talented. does a lot of our shows, yes. they've already made a connection to say, hey, we, you know, we... Let, let us know. So That's what I love about it. Yeah. It and then also, you know, you, like, being at these events, at these at-home events, like, you get to meet people, you know, before you would just meet them at that at the show, but we're now across the, the whole, you know, United States, and so yeah. you could follow each other on, you know, Facebook or YouTube or Instagram, and then you get to see each other's creative yeah. projects. That's what I love about social media yeah. is to see and get all new friends. So if we're not following each other, let's do this. Exactly. <laughs> I'm Vicky Bill <laughs> on everything, I think. But, you know, then you get to see everybody, what they're working on or what they're coloring or their layouts yeah. or and whatever. I love that. Well, and Barry, you know, it was a great, and it's always a great time to ask questions. And one of the, and this is always a great question, is Barry had asked the group, you know, what is, what is your favorite adhesive that you used? And, and everybody, you know, has their favorites. And what was nice is people gave tips on, you know, boy, you want to use this to really hold it, but if you want to be able to adjust it, it's better to use, like, the liquid to give you a little bit of play. Yeah. So it's, it's just such a great time, and, and, you know, it is. Gosh, you know, we're going to meet people, um, uh, we're going to meet people at our at-home shows, and then it might be six months or four months or whatever, and you're going to go get to see them. So right. So it's, exactly. it's so exciting. Exactly. So. You're, we're all going to be at a show, and we're all, they're going to be like, recognize you through social media, and so then you're going to go, I'm, you know, <laughs> exactly. da, 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 craft girl, and then you're like, oh! Yeah, I don't know, yes. but I know you by your your yeah. name. Or, or you know, we'll see them with the, with the bags or the buttons or you oh, know yeah. the lanyards and all that. I so, can't wait. Yes, yes, and you know, it's been um, and you know what we hear from a lot of guests, it's been so great too because the vendors are able to reach out all across the country. Yes. You know, um, with in person shows once right. again. You know, um, you were, you know, there was a certain group, but, you know, um, it's been great because we've been able to share and they've been able to share all their great products and, exactly. and, and, and make new friends, make new customers. And gosh, you're going to get to, you're, you're going to know the vendors so much by the time you get to meet them. So and honestly, we're going to have all kinds of reunions honestly, coming up. Honestly, <laughs> thinking about the vendors, I mean, Dave, I know that it's not just me and I know it's not, you know, just like Sean too, we talk sure. about this. The vendors have really brought us through this whole time. Yes. Like, I don't know what I would have done without this yeah. being able to, you know, you know, shop and like. Yeah. I, it's really kept me yeah. going. Honestly, yeah. I don't. I mean, not to be, but I, I am emotional about it yeah. because it really yeah. has. Just thinking oh, yeah. about the beginning. Exactly. Last year, I was like, what am I gonna do? Yes. You know. Yes. And now I'm like, oh, okay, this. Yeah. Is, so I do really appreciate every single vendor that has participated. For sure. yeah. Yeah. And and you know and you know we're going to be doing these virtual events. You know we're, this isn't going to stop if we you know when we go to at location. Right, so right. so you're going to get a double dose. <laughs> <laughs> They're all like, oh my god. You can gosh. never get enough shopping. So, <laughs> no. but guys, you know. Um, uh, we're going to have some great shopping here in just a minute, yes. and you're going to get to see Riley and Company, Ooh, yay, Heartfelt Creations, yay. and It's Cheaper Than Therapy. So everybody, Love you guys, it. get ready to shop, and we'll be back.
in just a minute. So you guys enjoy. Hi everyone, it's Tanya with Riley and Company. I hope you're doing well today. Thanks for joining in. I've got some amazing things to show you today because guess what? It's new release day at Riley and Company. I'm so excited, I love new release day. And we have got a really fun release. We've got new funny bones, we've got some new characters, and wait until you see what your project is. You are absolutely going to fall for this. I love them so much. So let me get you turned around and we'll get started. This is always the part that worries me the most because I just never know if I'm going to... Ah, see, if I just hold my breath, it works every time if I just hold my breath. So, there's us. And like I said, it's new release day. Before I get into the new releases, I'm going to show you something. It, it might as well be part of the new release because... It's coming out at the same time. But those of you that have ordered the dress up Riley before, if you don't know, if you don't know about Riley and Company, Riley is our moose and he has his own accessory line and it is called Dress Up Riley. So we use Riley as the base and then we have a bunch of accessory sets that you can dress him up with. And you can do adorable little cards this so this was the spring set with all of his little clothing and that's a little slicker that he has on and we have about 28 of these sets so what if you've had these before what you would have purchased would have been Riley in a red rubber stamp with a cling back and now we have taken Riley and his friends that are in the dress-up set so far the cows and the foxes in the raccoon fox raccoon set and we are bringing them out in clear for you now and we are so happy about this so the clear or the dress up line for Riley is now a hundred percent clear stamps and dies we are very happy to bring that to you guys now part of our new release so excited to show you guys most of you are quite aware that the Funny Bones is a huge part of Riley and Company. We are the original home of Snark. Um, we started years and years ago by uh, a meme off of Facebook. We thought, wow, that'd be really fun stuff to put with Riley. And we did. And this release takes us to over 900 that we've came out with. So very happy about that. So if you ever want to go to our website and just have a giggle if you're having a rough day, head over to RileyandCompanyOnline.com with your favorite beverage and sit and giggle for a while. It will definitely cheer you up. So I want to read off some of these uh, just so you guys know, these videos are done a couple weeks in advance and I am nowhere near prepared enough to have samples done of our new release by then. So I'm going to read you these, okay? I hope that's good enough. When you get to the website, by the time you watch this video, we'll have lots of samples on the website for you. Adulthood is straight up the worst hood I've ever lived in. Older, but wiser. This would be hilarious with a, um, a gecko chameleon. Is that what they're called? Remember? All right, I'm dating myself. If you remember the Budweiser chameleons, I think they're called chameleons. Some mornings, it's best to just fill the sink with coffee, stick your head in, and suck. That was yesterday. Spilling coffee is the adult equivalent to losing a balloon. This is absolutely... Absolutely my favorite. If it weren't for me, you might have been mom's favorite. Mm-hmm. Mom, I hope you're listening. I know my brothers and sisters aren't, but they're each getting one of these. I'm pretty sure that my last words are going to be, are you freaking kidding me? The fact that jellyfish have survived 650 million years despite not having brains gives hope to so many people. And everybody sitting out there is going, oh my word, that is so true. This is true as well. Crafting makes everything better. For those of you out there that ride, I do not snore. I just dream that I'm a motorcycle. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, raisin cookies that look a lot like chocolate chip cookies are the main reason I have trust issues. All right, raise your hand or type yes in the comment section if you've ever bitten into a cookie that you thought was a chocolate chip cookie and it had raisins and you spit it out. Yes. E equals MC squared. Energy equals milk times coffee squared. True thing. And that's the only algebra I ever remember. Things I have in common with a raccoon. Dark circles around eyes, eats junk, kind of chubby, stays up all night, cute, but might bite. Okay, I hope you all can see this. I am not going to read it out loud in case there are children in the room or grandchildren. I think it is hysterical. Probably in my top three faves this, this time. Celery is 95% water, 5% fiber, and 100% not a taco. I was thinking to my out coming up. Wouldn't this be a fun card to send to a friend? Make a wish and then blow out that bonfire. R-O-F-L. And I had this done the other day and somebody said, I don't get it. Oh, for crying out loud. It means rolling on the floor laughing. I'm going to set this aside because I've got something fun to show you. Remember when teachers used to say you won't have a calculator everywhere you go? Well, we showed them. Abracadabra! Nope, you're still old. <laughs> I think this is great. If it were me, which it will be, I'm going to cut this in half, cut my stamp in half, put this on the outside and that on the inside. Fabulous birthday card sentiment. For today, drink your coffee, stay positive. Remember, stabbing people is wrong. Are you wearing pants? Roses are red, violets are blue. I want tacos and queso too. And finally, coffee, because sarcasm needs to stay hydrated. That's right. Now, I had a customer ask me or send in suggestions. We love suggestions. And if you send us a suggestion that we actually turn into a stamp, we will send you the stamp for free. And so they sent me a suggestion for Riley rolling on the ground laughing. Hang on. And guess what? We made him. Isn't he great? <laughs> I just absolutely love this. This is the first time that I've ever seen Riley's mouth. Our designer that that does these did this, and I'm like, oh my God, Riley has a mouth. I cannot even believe it. Riley has a mouth. Isn't that cute? But hey, why stop there? We need to make the raccoon doing that too. And I just popped this one up. These are my kind of my idea of samples two weeks ahead of time. I just popped that up with a foam dot. Oh, you can't see that one yet. So I'm going to show you this one. And we put the cow rolling on the floor laughing. R-O-F-L. See, you could do that on the outside, this on the inside. And finally, I used one of those wiggle things into the people that that manufacture those. I'm so sorry, I cannot remember the name, but they're called wiggle things. You know, if I say get a wiggle thing, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Again, I'm not going to read it, but is that hilarious? I just used one of those little wiggly things. <laughs> Absolutely love it. All right. And finally, for the new release. We have some new Mushroom Lane, and if you don't know Riley, another one of Riley's lines besides Riley and his buddies, and then Riley's dress-up line and the Funny Bones line is our Mushroom Lane line. Now, Mushroom Lane is a little town where little gnomes and fairies live, and they have all kinds of buildings in Mushroom Lane. I think... As of this release, we will have 28 individual little buildings. All right. So, for example, I just brought some. These are not in the new release. These have already been released, but I'm just making you wait. So, this is what they look like. They're good size. In comparison to a card, they're good size. Okay. And one of my favorite things that I love to do with these are layer them and make them 3D. Um, 
Lisa Magushin came up with that idea many, many years ago, and it was so beautiful that we've taken it a step further, and we have made dies for some of these. Not all of them have dies that match, but some of them have dies, and it helps you stack them up without having to fussy cut. And some of them do not yet, but we're working on it. These came out a long time before dies were a thing. So, without further ado, I have three more designs to show you this time. This... is our new clay pots. Can you guys see that? Can you see? I hope you can see the glitter in the crystal lacquer on the windows. And what I've done, this is our project for today. We're going to make this. I'm going to show you how incredibly easy it is to make something that looks like this. You're, you're not even going to believe how easy it is. But that's one that we're going to make. And look, we even put one of our little one-inch gnomes in the door. We're going to do that too. Um, this is another clay pot. We only have two clay pots. And this is another one. Personally, I think it looks like a pub. I think it looks like a pub in Ireland. And that could be um, where they're brewing beer or something. Who knows? Anyway, that's another little clay pot. And finally, we have another little teapot. Isn't this precious? And again, I just put crystal lacquer on the little edges. It's got the little bell flowers and the little gnome going up the steps. And again, these do not have dies this time, guys. Sorry, but they will eventually. So what I did is I'm, I'm going to give you the biggest hints on these. These are three different tall clay pots that I did. So here's this one. I stuck my little gnome back here this time. But here's this one. And they're all layered differently. And that is the genius of fussy cutting these out. For those of you that love the fussy cut, this is going to be your jam. Okay? For those of you that don't, take it from somebody that doesn't. It's really not that hard. And you can do each one completely different. All right? Big, big hint here. For these, I spent a lot of time, probably an hour, coloring each one of these clay pots okay it's going to take four or five layers four or five of those colored images to make this use your color copier use your color copier work really hard on the first image add your little white pens everything in then take it to your copy machine put your cardstock in and color it off i use the best settings i can get on the copier that i have i don't have anything you know fancy just an HP. But that's what we get. So now we are going to move on to our projects. And I will show you just how easy this is. Let me put these out here so you can see them. I am going to be working on a white surface, and I hope uh, that you guys can all see it. I need to make sure that. I'm in the space that you can see. I'm going to move that over. All right, so what I have done is I colored my image. Now, you can stamp them once on cardstock and color them in and have that be it. And this would still make a gorgeous card. Isn't that beautiful? And then you can add your crystal lacquer or whatever. What I've done here is I've, I've done the image, like I said, and then I just photocopied it. And I have apparently moved my scissors. I was going to give you a little tip. For those of you that don't do a lot of fussy cutting, I'm going to show you a really good tip. See, I still have stuff in here. Keep your scissors in one spot. Move your paper. See how I'm moving my paper, but my scissors never move? It's a lot easier to control that way than trying to move your scissors around everything. Super easy, and my scissors never moved. Okay. Then, these are the different layers that I decided to cut out this time. So we're going to start with this guy. We're going to add this one on top. This will give you a little bit of a progression on how this works. So we have that one, and then that one. Then we have this guy. And then, these are the little pieces. His front door. All the little windows, 
couple extra flowers. Okay, and this time I took it a step further and made a couple of the extra side flowers. Now, of course, in the oh, here it is. Thought I lost a I thought I lost a window. And I cut out my little gnome too, because I found doing this, that having the, the little gnome set, there's three different little gnomes in a little package that we have for sale, three stamps and three matching dies to go with them. So I have one of him colored up too. Now, I have found in doing this that the edges that you get, sometimes if you're like me and you don't fussy cut really, really tightly, you get the little white edges. I have a cure for that. Looky here. This is vintage photo in a sponge applicator real lightly and watch those little puppies disappear. Real quick, not a lot. In fact, you might not even be able to see it, but you can definitely tell a difference between the first one and the second one. And so I just take all my pieces after I've cut them out and just add some ink to it just around the edges. And we're just gonna do that on all of our pieces real quick. I didn't know how much time I had, so I went ahead and put the foam tape on the back and I just use inexpensive foam tape. You can use pop dots. You can use whatever you have handy. And the fun of these is, is trying to do something different each time. Now, if you're like me, you like the dye avenue much better, but I have also found that this tends to be super fun and it's very relaxing. I can just sit and watch TV and cut and I don't miss out on a single thing. I had one more little flower here and hopefully up oh, there it is. Okay. So now I'm done and we're just going to start working on this one. So we're going to take the very bottom piece and it, I have found it easier if you stand up and you work looking down that way you can get them straight on top. Now with this particular one, the second one, you just peel your tape off. And I hope I don't forget to tell you about the show specials when we're done. Can somebody out there remind me? <laughs> All right, so that one, uh, he's a little off and I don't like that. So if you just lay it down and you don't press too hard the first time around, you can reposition it. And once I get it, there we go. Got that laid down. Now you just go from the biggest to the smallest and just work your way forward. So the next one that I'm going to put on is this little piece. And while I'm doing this, I will tell you about the specials. We have a special purchase on all three of the new mushroom designs. They're normally $10.50 a piece, and you can get them, I believe, so it makes it $31.50. You can get them for $25. All right, so now we have this little guy, and we're going to put him on. And this other little window, we're going to put him on. So one of the specials is the mushroom release special. We always have a funny bone special for the new release. And that is all of this, whoopsie, all of the funny bones. You can be able to get all of them in one set at one time for 20% off. And of course, we always on our new release have a special where you get free shipping at $25. Now on this particular one, I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna bring them in just a, or down just a little tiny bit so that it looks like there's a whole bunch of flowers behind it, right? 
in this one, I'm going to do the same thing. So it looks like we've got tons of flowers around this house. And I don't use a ton of pop dots either. And that way the tops will flip out. Then I cut these a little shorter. The top one's a little shorter than I did the ones behind them to give it that 3D look. So it had an extra flower at the top. So what should I do with an extra flower? We're just going to pop it right on there. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? Okay. Now I'm gonna pop that right on there. And finally, we have the door on the first one. I cut the door, the first one that I showed you, I cut the door open and tucked in behind. But I think this time, since I'm running short on time, we're gonna pop the door on. And then we are just going to attach him right at his front door. Now, the key to this, always is stickles add glitter glue to the flowers i love my stickles so much i use them you have to use them on mushroom lane because it's fairy houses and gnome houses and everybody knows that they're all glittery right and of course all the flowers sparkle okay and we're going to make sure that we edge this The great thing about stickles is it acts like glue as well. I'm just going to put a little bit there. Put him up there. And then if you want, you can definitely take your glossy accents or crystal lacquer or whatever. And if it comes out, we're good. And nope, it's stuck. So I just used it and forgot to put the lid on. So there you have it. That's our project for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, again, show specials and a new release. Thanks for joining me and have a wonderful weekend. Hey friends, welcome. If you and I have not met, my name is Emma Lou with Heartfelt Creations. Today I'm here to share a beautiful stamping technique that really kind of gives you that watercolor effect that I think you'll really love. Um, so this technique is great to create those vibrant springtime cards. Um, so we will have some fun. The card I'm making today will have a slight variation from these color tones. Um, so this is something that is a beautiful way to kind of have that watercolor effect. We're going to use multiple inks or inks colors to create this tone. So the image I'm using today um, comes from our spring garden collection. Um, this collection comes with a beautiful um, just beautiful images that I absolutely love. The main image that we're going to be using today comes from the Fragrant Hyacinth Stamp and Die Set. Now this set, you can make those beautiful, super dimensional hyacinths. So you can do something really clean and simple like I'm going to show you today, or you can use these dimensional flowers that come right with the set and really take it to the next level. So lots of different options today on how you can recreate this hyacinth to get the look that you're wanting based on who you're going to give this to. Um, so if you're just joining me, um, let me know where you're watching from. Are you having fun today? Um, it's always such a great event when it's Book Expo pulls us together, pulls us all together in one place to learn new crafting tips and techniques. So we're going to use the large hyacinths. There's also a smaller one. So if you're doing like the a four and a quarter by five and a half inch cards, you can also use this one and do something extremely beautiful with that as well. So to get started, we use four of this in total to make this five by seven card. Um, and like I said, I'm using a little bit of a different color tone today than was used on this card. But we're going to start out by having the stamp stamp side up. And I'm going to ink my leaf green on the bottom first. 
Before I do that, that I just want to pull out my water mister because we are also going to use that. I forgot to get that originally, so here we go. I think we're all set, ready to roll. So just make sure that you have a good ink coverage. Um, I am not super scared about only getting the leaf. I just want to make sure that I don't have any gaps in my ink. So if a little bit comes on the flower on the bottom, that is okay. We're going to start with three colors um, for the flower. And I'm starting out with the majestic violet on the bottom. Um, so you can always kind of tip the stamp up if you can't exactly see where the edges are. If you are a little bit more like, oh, I don't want that to overlap. But I have to say, if you overlap the ink colors a little bit, it gives it a little bit more of a forgiving um, look. It kind of blends it together a little bit more um, and makes that super easy for you. So the next color I'm going in with is the Cactus Floral Flower. Um, so if you love purples, kind of variations into pink, this is a beautiful color combination to do that. And this stamp just showcases it beautifully and that's why I chose these colors today. So hopefully you love it just as much as I do. Let me know what you're loving about this. Um, so this is the Vibrant Fuchsia that I'm getting ready to use next, um, and I'm really making sure that it overlap with the cactus flower that I just applied. Um, so that is how you get that inking. Now before I move to um, the final step before we stamp, I did want to tell you that I did on these two, which are going to be more of my background flowers, I did just use the Vibrant Fuchsia um, when this was after I had stamped two of these. So um, just a note, if you wanted to kind of create more of a focal flower and then more of a background flower, you could do that too. Now before we stamp this to create more of a watercolor effect, I'm going to use my water mister and we're going to spray a little bit of water on top to kind of create a little bit of splotchiness on the stamped pattern, okay? Each time it comes out a little bit different. It reminds me of dyeing those t-shirts, right? Um, so it's kind of like that effect. So it's really fun. It's kind of exciting because each time you really don't know exactly how it's going to turn out, how it's going to look. So see how that kind of gives you a little bit of that blotted look? So it gives you a little bit of that um, texture, a little bit of coloring. You don't have to do much coloring. Um, my next step would be just to line this die right up on top um, and die cut that out. So I have some die cut images here already, but um, I wanted to show you a little bit how you can go back in and color. You could kind of follow the same colors you used to stamp it with, or if you want to just use the lightest pink, um, you could just go in and just use the lightest pink. I like to kind of tap off and see how much color I have on my sponge, um, but just give a little bit of light coloring um, just in some areas to just add a hint of that color in there. So you really don't have to do much to make it look super beautiful um, very quickly. So um, that's a fun way you can go back, color the leaves. Um, these daubers, if you have never used them, they're designed so they're not a circle, which means you have more of those pointy tips to go in and do some shading if you're the girl that loves to do shading. So you can um, really kind of like start off on that tip, blend up and color those leaves in very beautifully um, with getting that shading and following kind of the design of the leaf while still um, getting beautiful color with that. So that is something you could do with that, could die cut them out. And I like to do four um, with this specific card. I have a total of five cut out. Um, so that allows us to have a little bit of flexibility on how we design these. So our next step before we glue anything down is going to be to ink the uh, stamp the sentiment. Um, if you don't have any sentiments and you love this one, let us know. We have some beautiful basic sentiments sets. Um, speaking of stamps, um, as a thank you for watching and um, participating today, you qualify for a free stamp with a $100 purchase, and that expires on March 31st. All you have to do is just go to the website, um, add your items to the cart, and a stamp that you love. Make sure your total is over $100 and check out and you will get um, that free stamp automatically will apply um, and you can choose which one you want so just make sure it's in your cart so that you receive that expires March 31st just a heads up if you're in the US you also automatically get free shipping when your order is a hundred dollars which is awesome so we're gonna go ahead and stamp this sentiment on the top left hand corner so this will allow you to have that sentiment directly to the cardstock. So like I said, this is more of a watercolor, just a fun, fast technique. Or you can take this very same stamp and get a completely different look by using the individual flowers. So you stamp this one, die cut it out, and we have the shaping mold that shapes all those flowers for you. So all you have to do is just glue it on top. So it's really super simple, fast, and easy, which I absolutely love, right? Um, so to get this 
sentiment stamp. Let's do, I think I'm going to go with the cactus flower, which is kind of the middle color of the um, hyacinth image that I was inking with. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to stamp that. Um, sometimes I like to stamp it before I have all my items um, all my items glued down, but I just glued my background panels down um, just to kind of prep for this video. Um, this card size is five by seven, so see how beautifully that's stamped. If you don't trust yourself with getting things straight, um, it's okay, you could always have that just off to this, this top piece off to the side so you can practice stamping on it um, before you just commit <laughs> after it's glued it down. So we're gonna go ahead and position these two flowers down first, and these were glued directly to the card. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get this little guy, put this hyacinth, we're going to plant flowers today. How does that sound, right? Um, where we're from, we're in Indiana, so um, hopefully our flower planting season is right around the corner. Uh, but here in our area, daffodils and hyacinths are some of our very first spring flowers to, that pop up, which is always such an exciting time because it's like, yay, um, we know that spring is right around the corner. Um, is that how it is for you too, or where are you from? Um, so let me know what you're learning, what you're loving about this. I always love to hear from you as well. Um, so this one we're going to position on the bottom, so I'm measuring it from more like this point to pretty much, I hope, that, hope you can see this, um, to this side over here. So we're going to go ahead and just, whoopsie, actually you know what, this one, I, I think I planned it a little bit differently. Let's grab this one. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to put this one over here. Okay, recomputing, I had some foam dots. The ones with foam dots were designated for a different area, right? I um, typically do foam dots on uh, my projects before I go live just to save some time. So here we go. We're going to put this one in here. And then we're going to place, I have two levels of foam dots. One's a little bit thicker. That's the one that's going to be in the center. Um, but then I have one that's a little bit thinner, which is this one. Um, we're going to put that one off to the side. Now, this one, you are going to have the leaves since you're placing it lower. They're going to, in the beginning, go off the card a little bit. Um, so we're just going to trim that at the end then, right? Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to place this a little bit more to our right. Um, so we'll place it pretty much somewhere. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's put it just so it's on the card, not off the card, so we can put it in an envelope. Okay, there we go. And then this one is ready to be the hero in the center of the card. How pretty is that? So we're going to go ahead and just remove those foam pieces from the back. Let me know how you like this, what you are learning. So this comes from our Hyacinth stamp set, just debuted in March. So it is one of our newer ones. Um, so if you've had... If you've been on the website, actually, speaking of the website, if you are completely new, you've never been to our website, um, you can shop with us at heartfeltcreations.us. We also have a weekly blog that goes up with inspiration, just like the one you're seeing today. So um, you're always inspired with fresh new ideas on what you can do that really helps jumpstart um, your creativity when you're feeling a little lost on what to do next, right? Um, so we're going to go ahead and put that down. Now, since we have some of these leaves going down the bottom, we're just going to bring this off to the side. We're just going to do the eye, what I call the eyeballing technique. Just clip that off. I'm going to come in from the other side so I have a little bit better grip on my scissors. We'll just cut this off. Oops. You know what? I was measuring with a white line here. So we're just going to go ahead and do this one with a white line as well. So they have evenly planted. We'll do the same with this one. There we go. Um, so we've got all of those planted very quickly and beautifully. And, you know, if you're like, hey, I really love these background ones, but I want to add some dimension, you could always, for this one, you could add all those little flowers on top and add some beautiful dimension to it. Um, like I said, there are two sizes in this set. So that you've got a big one and a small one, so you can really do some fun things with that as well. Um, I have a card here. Actually, I have, let's see here, I have two. This one um, is really beautiful with the big one, um, and then the small one in more of a solid color. Here's the same one, um, just no dimensional flowers on top. So lots of beautiful ways that you can create with that um, using those tips and techniques. Um, here's one with the little one um, paired with our daffodil. It's not the traditional daffodil shape, 
um, but it's just a beautiful way to really get some dimension. You can put it in a little clear box. You can hand give it. You can ship it for more of a statement piece. So you get to choose whether you want something super dimensional or if you want to keep it a little bit more of a watercolor, quick, simple card. So you have lots of versatility and options with that. One thing I wanted to share with you is if you take, um, let me grab, do you like glitter? We could do a little bit of a glittering technique with this as well. Um, so with this one, you can go back. Um, I have some glitter on this one, but since this one's cut out, I, no, we can do it on this one. Um, I would typically wait until it's cut, die cut out, but you can also do it now. Um, if you have time for it to dry, you can do it right away, but um, I typically do my glittering one of the last times. So I put some dries clear glue on my sponge and I'm gonna sponge off a little bit on the side just so that I don't have too much glue. But I just want little blotches of glue over my flower and my leaves. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle um, a baby's breath pink glitter over the top, right? So that is a really nice way to just add some glitter and some sparkle very quickly, right? Um, so you've got the watercolor effect, you've got the glitter, um, and you're ready to, you know, die cut that out, add it to your card. If you wanted to take it to the next level, you can always also go back and you can add little dots of glue just in these flower centers. And you can go ahead and add what I call prills. Um, that is an element that we carry lots of different colors, but what it's nice about it is the little beads have lots of different sizes. So when you're putting it in a flower center, it forms a nice round little flower center. So it's not like they're all the same size. So go ahead um, and tap those off so you have those little flower centers in there very quickly and easily. So that's an option as well if you wanted to do that. Um, so those are just some quick and easy tips on how you can use the hyacinths very beautifully. Um, so that one is comes with the watercolor effect, two different tones, lots of different ways you can stamp, color that. Um, so that one again comes from the Fragrant Hyacinth Stamp and Die Set. And then there's the shaping mold that goes with that so you don't have to hand shape it. Makes it super quick and easy to shape all those little flowers at one time. There's like four, there's 20 flowers you can shape at once. So that is magical, love that. Um, so once again, um, as a special thank you, um, you can go to the website, place your $100 order, and you get a free stamp set of your choice with a uh, purchase of the $100, expires March 31st, so make sure you take advantage of that. Um, and when you spend $100 with us in the U.S., that is free shipping. Here's another one with the three little hyacinths uh, paired together, different color combinations. Isn't that just stunning? Now, another flower, if you love those spring flowers and you're just like, oh my goodness, um, I love everything spring. Daffodils are something that are super beautiful too. If you head on over to heartfeltcreations.us, you'll see the daffodil shaped in many different ways. It is a super beautiful flower. Um, you can do something super dimensional with it, but keep in mind, like I said, we love versatility. Um, so you'll see many other flower styles um, in the way that we shape the daffodil, and that comes from our uh, let me see, that one is called the Spring Daffodil. Um, and that one has different sizes. And because it's a two-part flower, you have different components that you can layer together to get a completely different flower. So it really adds to that versatility, which we all love, right? Um, so with that, I hope that inspires you um, to recreate your own one-of-a-kind spring cards um, and also try having some fun with those watercoloring tips and techniques. Um, so, and you can also add the dimension. So lots of ways that you can keep it simple or just take some time to create and make something super beautiful. Thank you so much for watching and joining me today. Head on over to the website at heartfeltcreations.us. And uh, when you place that order of $100, you'll get a free stamp set, your choice. Just add it to the cart, no coupon code needed. That expires on March 31st. Um, and when you place that $100 order, you also qualify for free shipping in the US. With that, have an amazing rest of your day. Happy creating. We'll see you next time. Bye.
Hello everybody. Welcome to It's Cheaper Than Therapy.com. We are so excited to present to you so many fun new things and so many amazing new cards using Sizzix, um, using our products, and we are also showing off the new sentiments line with some new words too. So we're so excited to have you with us. Come on in, in and enjoy. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, are you guys ready for some serious super fun? Okay, so what we have is we have our sentiment line. It is the new sentiments by It's Cheaper Than Therapy. Dot com, and we have a whole bunch of different words and phrases um, that we can use. And, you know, we put them on slim lines is like the thing right now. And so I wanted to show you just some different ways that you can use them. But we have some super fun, exciting new phrases that we've made. And they're in and they're ready to go. And we have one that's called Made With Love. Now these sentiments are just like seven and a quarter inches long. And the reason why that we did that is because you can put them on other size cards besides, besides, um, you know, the slimline ones. This one says you're invited, you know, so many invitations, beautiful. You want to send a fun card to somebody to tell them how beautiful, good luck. You know, I know that uh, St. Patty's Day you know, so, um, you know, all of these products too are also going to be um, listed on the website um, in uh, March 20th tab on the left-hand side. And so we've got Believe, we've got Best Wishes, Happy Anniversary. And you don't have to make these, like I said, in just all slimline. They could be in other size cards too. And I'm gonna go through a lot of those and show you. We've got just for you. He is risen. Baby boy. Send out the nice invitations. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Baby girl. Miss you. There's also a missing you. Amazing. Whoop, another amazing. Who doesn't love amazing? Oh, there it is. Missing you. And so just a different way of just showing it here in, in a title. It's just a happy birthday. And, um, you know, that just shows it with different cardstock. This is a really beautiful glittery cardstock. I don't know if you can see that glitter or not. Let's see. Get that sparkly on there. Um, you know, the happy Easter we have. Uh, there's the good luck again. Together. Congratulations. Believe. Thank you is always a perfect one. Happy Father's Day. Happy Mother's Day. We've got uh, Cancer Sucks. And um, yes, it does. As you know, my daughter just was diagnosed with uh, breast cancer, but they believe they caught it all early. So that's great. Um, so her thing is just moving forward and, and going. So thank you. Love. Beautiful. More too. So there's Blessings. Happy Mother's Day. With Sympathy. More amazing, get well, and there's other ones too. So those are also gonna be listed on here. But this is a way that we have shown um, somehow to use them. So the word like together doesn't have to be all the way across the whole thing. So you can cut the little ends off of them if you want. And so, um, you know, this is a great way of using some of the Tim Holtz ones. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal the little tab back here that tells it. It is the, the park. Um, and I'm going to have all these on here, the decor frames um, by Sizzix as well. And so I'm going to show how all these products are all going to be on that March 20th tab. So don't worry about getting the item numbers. You click on the March 20th tab and you'll be able to, you know, see all of these on here too. And so we have the happy birthday. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at how you can just do like the different colors of that as well. You do all the different colors of that. And um, then it's, uh, I'll show you, like um, we have like the, the balloon set and all that. And this guy right here, he's really cute. And let me find, let me find the card that was made with that. I can't find it right this second, but I'm gonna point it out because we have so many to show you. Um, you can also run them vertically. So you don't have to run them, you know, completely all the way across like this. 
you can actually run them, you know, vertically on here. So this is Happy Mother's Day. This is the Sizzix uh, Tim Holtz the Park. And then the Colorized Holiday Village um, on here. And then we also have Live, Laugh, and Love. Now, the word is actually all together, but you can actually separate it just like it is shown here. And this is um, Harrison. He is the Tim Holtz part of the Colorize um, line. And this is the lion, the lion. So we got Colorize and then Funky Trees. It is the Sizzix Funky Trees as well. So we have the Live, Laugh, Love. And we also have some more let me show you just because we just wanted to show you you know we're not doing necessarily a technique today but we're just showing off how cool these sentiments are and using also Sizzix, um Sizzix and other people's products so this one says happy anniversary happy anniversary And it is the happy birthday sentiment. Let's see, we have beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? We have beautiful. And that one is the flutter. Um, we have a with sympathy. And the brush stroke. And it just looks gorgeous, even with this vertical. Even with this vertical, it's just stunning. This one, you can do the, um, you know, the embossing on the background. And then the brushstroke flowers, and we also have the get well. This one is the butterflies, and it also says thank you. So you can extend that out a little bit too. Missing you. This is with, with the flutter on by um, Sizzix one. And then we have the he is risen, the sentiments with the flutter on by. So it's just real simple. So you can use them on, you know, bigger cards. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. You know, we have one here. It has Happy Easter with this little guy, Oliver. His name is Oliver, and he's just a hoot. He just cracks me up. And he has, like, different eyes, you know, so you can just kind of, you know, do whatever with the eyes. Um, this is a Sizzix um, die set. It is the Confetti Pocket, and it's really cute, too. Um, this one here has, you know, you can just make a, a cute little pocket with the little vellum window on the back. And this one... You could do baby girl, baby boy, whatever you want to put in there. And then here's, you know, just like a little shaker, um, you know, pocket, confetti pockets. And here's another one, you know, just girl and boy kind of thing. I am covering up the top of this one, though. Um, this one, it has a different type of cancer phrase, and it is kind of a, a word that, uh, you know, I don't want to offend anybody, but people that have had cancer have also said, another phrase on it we do have that um, in stock this one says cancer sucks and the other one is um, a four-letter word and it does suck too and so people that have had cancer have definitely made the statement on them um, whichever one that you choose we are doing a uh, charity dies with those and so a portion of the proceeds are going to go to um, breast cancer in uh, uh, for my daughter and so that's why we did those ones and it was a request by many to do the other one. And so I am covering that up because I know that kids and everything are watching these things too. So we don't want to offend anybody. And it's not just a cuss word, but it is definitely a statement in the cancer world. And I get it. Um, look at that dimensional, you know. So we're going to kind of show all of those things too. I have a thank you. This one here is really cool, the thank you. And those are the funky trees again by Tim Holtz and Sizzix. Oh my gosh, there's just so many. There's just so many. We got Best Wishes. It's fun on there. We've got the Funky Nature and the Flower Stems and the Sentiment Best Wishes. And this one here, it is the Lisa um, Jones Jar of Flowers by Sizzix. And that's just been really cute. And there's another one here that has um, the, I believe we have another one here that has the, the jar on it. And I'll show you. And you could make it in a really super cute shaker card. I believe we have that. Oh, there it is. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. So I didn't even look. I was looking off to the side to look for this card, and it was sitting right in front of me. How about that? Um, here are some more. He's just so, and there's a personal message on the inside of this one, so I'm not going to open that one up but, um, to read the message, but you can see how the, 
how that little spinner is on there on the little sun. We've got Happy Day. We've got the uh, Cafe Color Eyes and the Funky Nature. Those are just, just super fun. You've got some, um, you know, alcohol backgrounds. We got a baby boy, and with the color, oh, I'm gonna go back. I kind of back bounce back and forth, you know, with the color eyes. You know, just look at all the different layers that you can get in there. Just all of the different layers. And this one is baby boy, and it's a vertical card, or you can also make it into, you know, like this. Simple. I love these flowers, these brush stroke flowers. Here is that happy birthday sentiments and the color eyes, the um, the cafe and just some funky pinks, funky pink colors. Here we go with the brush strokes and Miss You. Super fun. So it's a big fun show and tell. And then the Happy Spring, we got a Happy Spring one too. So that's just really pretty. With the, who doesn't love butterflies, right? Happy Mother's Day. We got some of the brush stroke flowers and also the Colorized Cafe. This one is the wildflowers and then the love, the love sentiments. The wildflowers are really fun. You can use them all in the journaling and that too. This one is the perspective butterfly and wildflowers number stem, um, wildflower stems number three. And so this one actually has, you know, the, you know, the wing here that's just kind of fluttering on by. And so you can just use half of it. It's a big, big butterfly. It is a big butterfly but it is beautiful. And so that it is the thank you of these sentiments on there. I love that. We've got good luck with the brushstroke flowers. I just thought I'd really like to show off these brushstroke flowers. Um, so some friends of mine have made these for me and I don't know if they want their names mentioned, so I'm not gonna mention them right now. Um, but one begins with the A and one begins with this S and one another one begins with the S. Um, so we have several different um, I'm going to say it's Sandy, Sherry, and Annie. So this one is Love You. I lost a little rhinestone on this one, put my finger there. That one is Love You with the love sentiment. Here we go. We've also got the embossing folders. Okay. And then this one is a new spinner one um, from Sizzix. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spin it up here just a little bit before I show it. But it's the new spinner card, butterfly spinner card. And you can just kind of keep winding this guy up, winding this guy up, you know, kind of keep winding him up with that little, um, you know, clear thread. And then, you know, then you, he spins. Did you see that? Okay, I'm gonna put it on pause and I'm gonna spin them all up for you as you can see it again. Okay, are you ready to be spin, spin away? Okay, here we go. Here it goes, did you see the butterfly spinning? Who wouldn't love that card when they get that? Just Keep spinning it up, and when you open it up, that thing just spins like crazy, depending upon how tight that you spin it up. Um, we also have the, uh, you know, the baby girl. Look at the, the different eyes. So there's different eye options. You can make him, make Oliver look as crazy and funny. He's just a hoot. I just love him. He's just really, really cute. And here it says, together we can. Okay, so you can make it kind of go around. Kind of bend him a little bit as well. We have the happy Easter. Happy Easter. This is one of the Karen Berniston dies. This is by Sandy. Look at that. It's the oval papa. You know, we have a very simple but beautiful with sympathy. So if you're looking for some really, you know, this is, just, is pattern paper. So if you're just looking for some really, you want to send somebody a sympathy card, this is just a great way of just doing it this way. Um, simple, quick but still handmade with love. This is also um, pattern paper that's in the background. You want to use up some of your pattern papers. You know, you can just do this and then congratulations right off the bottom. And we've got some funky papers too. So here is one funky paper. So, and it depends on, you know, with the darker scenes on there, add a little ribbon and cute, just super cute, super fast, super easy. Again, we've got the crosshatch rectangle from Karen Berniston well, with the cupcakes dies, the happy birthday in the middle. Simple. So you don't have to make them crazy all the time and extremely time consuming. Um, we've got a beautiful happy birthday. Again, you got the pattern paper crosshatch rectangles, add a little charm, some twine, and 
you're ready to go for another um, really pretty card. And so let me move some of these away here just a little bit. We've got a beautiful Happy Mother's Day. That's with the um, sentiment here. Happy Mother's Day. And this is the tag pop-up by Karen Berniston. Happy Mother's Day, love you with hearts. And again, this is just a fun way of just using some of your, your pattern papers. You don't always have to go crazy on everything. And you can use those up, and make some really fun things. You could even, you know, ephemera, cut some things out. Um, have some kids make some Easter egg, uh, happy Easter cards and have them cut out little shapes and things like that and stick them onto the front of your card. And here we've got kind of a steampunky old Happy Father's Day um, card. And this is one of our tags. Um, let me go grab one of the other tags. And we're going to be doing a great big sale on these too. So you have different tags. You have like the tag and then you also have this outline so you can make that one a shaker card the one that's just a little bigger and put that on top of it you know for framing or dimension or you know window this one is a, a straight cut on here you know regular cut and this one here is a scalloped edge cut and so you can see the scallopy top on there and um, we've got some really beautiful stencil backgrounds here and um, we've got we've got the happy mother's day the happy mother's day let me get that glare off of there. The sentiments, some brushstroke flowers, the Tim Holtz. But these are also our tags as well. They're made out of chipboard and they're very sturdy. But you could even um, use them as like a home decor thing as well. And oh, thank you, Annie, on that. Here is another. Here's another one. Great, some great stenciling in the background. Um, this one is the Media Marks, that little squiggly guy design. Uh, we've got some of the Tim Holtz um, lace uh, border dies, the brush stroke, and we also have the blessings of the sentiments. And the great thing about it is if you just look at this, it it's it's on a little tag. You don't have to use it on a whole huge, um, you know, a whole huge uh, slimline card. So you can use these and just cut the little ends of them off. And we have, and how can't we forget, Happy Easter. Um, we've got With Love Sympathy as a, as a gatefold card. Some gorgeous cardstock. We also have Together. See, so there's the Together one again. And these are like six inch cards. We have some great layers. You know, a little bit of the monochromatic ish. You get some of the rose gold. Um, some of the, uh, the glitter cardstocks in that from uh, um, Sizzix. So we have those opalescent ones, and that's what these are, is the opalescence. And who doesn't love this? This little guy right here is the Hoppy Easter. Um, we got the bunny hop from Sizzix and Tim Holtz. And so we've got that too. So I just want to thank everybody here, you know, for coming and joining with us today. And we hope you really um, enjoy your dyes with Sizzix, Karen Berniston, uh, Sizzix with Tim Holtz. And um, and definitely our sentiment sign. We're going to be running a big, huge sale on it. So enjoy, everybody. Uh, we're going to show you some more pictures of some of these and some of the dyes that are involved. And don't forget the link to be able to um, see all of these. So thank you so much and enjoy. Welcome back, everybody, and I'll tell you what, Vicki, I love Funny Bones, Riley and Company, I know. Funny Bones. they're hilarious. Cute Riley, you got to have Riley in your life, you got to have Funny Bones in your life, you got to have Mushroom Lane in your life. Oh my goodness, for sure. <laughs> the as, teapot in your life. As they know. were coming out, we were just cracking up. Yeah. I mean, every time, there's just bangers, just every time. I know. Funny, you know. Well, and I you. asked the question, is there a, an auto ship for Funny Bones? <laughs> I know, they are so... 
Good. Yes. I loved all of the ones that have to do with like just everything. Yeah. They're funny. <laughs> <laughs> there, you know, there's so many different, and the thing is, what I love about them is. And why they're funny is because everybody can relate to literally what they're saying. Yes. Like, yep, yep, the coffee exactly. when they're putting your head in the sink full of coffee. Yes. Can't beat that. And what know? was the Budweiser? The it, it, yes. What was that the, um, it, uh, why? Well, the way it was spelled because you had to you had to get the Wiser spelled W E I S E R like Budweiser. So. Yes, yes, hilarious. So. They were so funny. And the mushroom yes. lane, how adorable and and pretty were those cards like you were saying I love teapots I collect teapots yes. so I was just like I definitely need that stamp <laughs> yes and I love the technique that she gave you know because it does when you color it does take so many layers and so much time and I, I love that she said use your color copier do the first one yeah. really really yeah. good yeah and then you know just color copy and then that's how you can yeah. stack it up and that's a great great tip yeah and the 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 coloring on that is amazing. I told Vicky, I said she could do that. So. Uh, not really, yeah. but <laughs> in, in my I, imagination. I have an idea for a stamp. Okay. I have an idea. Good. And it goes with the mushroom lane. Uh -huh. And I don't think it's been used. I don't know. But you could always put do one of the mushroom lane cards and put, there's a fungus among us. <laughs> Do you give that so to your... So there uh, you go. <laughs> to your, I love it. Your friends that you might not like that much. <laughs> no, but, they, but, but they're so funny. It, it, you know, it puts you in that mood of thinking of fun things. So Exactly. And, uh, I love it. <laughs> I love how she added the stickles to the mushroom lane, to the yeah. flowers. That was really, really cute. Yeah. So Riley did it again, Riley and Company. We love every single thing. And you want to go to the website because... There is just so much more. Yeah. So and much the bundles more. are great. The bundle, yes. So the show special today is uh, all three Mushroom Lane stamps for only $25. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Entire Funny Bones new release bundle is 20% off. So that's good I'll for you, Dave. <laughs> and then free shipping on orders over $25. Well, wow, that's really easy oh, to that's do. What great. a great... That's a great deal right there. Exactly. So. So, no coupon code needed, but this will expire on March 31st. So, right, that's right. awesome. Great. So, thank you, Tanya and Riley and Company. Always brings a smile to our face. So. Yes, absolutely. Right. And then, you know, the just the lovely Emma Lou Heartfelt Creations. I mean, anytime I think of beauty and flowers, heartfelt, those three words. And Emma Lou just does a great job um, demonstrating and that hyacinth you oh know my gosh. the watercoloring with that was just beautiful and uh, the the sentiment uh, it was funny because the sentiment literally went along with the flower the font I that know special with yeah. a special just went it, it, was so pretty. it just was spring all over <laughs> exactly I love that hyacinth I always told my husband if I had another daughter I would name her hyacinth I think that is so cute there you go. the pioneer woman's best friend's name is hyacinth and I've always oh. loved that name so there you go. I definitely need the stamp set yeah. because <laughs> I just bouquet Mrs. Bouquet Mrs. Bucket from uh, Keeping Up Appearances hyacinth what's her name Oh, really? Carry on. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, but... <laughs> um, yeah, so the hyacinth... I'm all, where are we? Okay, the hyacinth... Oh, it's just gorgeous. And I love when she used the dyes and then popped it also because... Yes. It was neat that you did, you know, the stamping, yeah. which that's beautiful in itself. But then when you have the mold and then you can add the chunkiness, the dimension, yeah. it looks... This is what I love about about Heartfelt is that it just gives that, like, can you imagine? It's a work of art. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, you know, after you make a card like that, you're like, uh, this will look better on my mantle. Yeah. <laughs> it's like home decor. Like, yeah. it could be. It's, it's just beautiful. Beautiful. Just, yeah. Yes. Oh, my gorgeous. goodness. And then I love the, the daubers, the, you know, the triangle. Yeah. Like, she's showing how you could... Get in there with the, look, the little the corners, and crannies, yeah. yes. And oh my god! And then I also love the technique how she showed that she used the glue and the sponge to add the glitter. Yeah. And that was just I never even thought about that. I'm yep. probably you're out there going, we do that all the time, Vicky. 
<laughs> but I mean, that was really cool. I'm going to do that when I get home. Yeah. But I just go to the website. There's this gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, those molds are just phenomenal. Yes. That's, oh that's a must-have with any of those sets. Absolutely. When you're asking for your Easter basket stuff, there ask for there you go. <laughs> all of these things. Say, honey, right? here's the flowers I want. You yes. Know, you want <laughs> the stamp, the dye, yes. the mold, every. <laughs> when you're, when you're, you know, you need it to make the, the little Easter goodies for yeah. your grandchildren. Your, That's it. Your children, so. Exactly. Okay, so. Always thinking of others. Yes, always. <laughs> so, Heartfelt Creations coupon code is, um, there's no coupon code, I'm sorry. The show special is a free stamp with a hundred dollar purchase, which is very wow. easy to do, yeah. and that will expire on March thirty first. Great. So that's awesome. Awesome. So thank you, Miss Emma Lou, as always. Wonderful, beautiful flowers from Heartfelt Creations. Awesome. And then we have Miss Maria, and we're gonna give you a big hug, Maria. We love you and your we daughter. Love you. We're and you for your daughter. and you, sh you guys are so strong and yes. wonderful and you're gonna be okay. And we're gonna give you just keep giving you hugs. Yeah, and, definitely. and anybody else out there that uh, is going through, you know, some, oh, some cancer sure. and some health. So yes. um, it's certainly on our minds and we all you know, we've all been through that with a, a friend or relative. Right. So. I I I I didn't know so Yes, um, Danielle and yes. Maria, I am definitely praying for you and praying, you know, that because that is so hard. And I also have a friend on Facebook, and she watches us every show too. And Tammy Benson, I'm praying for yeah. you as well. And anyone else out there, like Dave said, we are definitely yeah. you're in our thoughts and our prayers. And for sure, for sure. Yes, yeah. but yeah. and and uh, you know, and that's that's the nice thing, you know. Um, uh, with crafting, you know, crafting can take your mind off those for things, sure. you know, for a while. And and Maria always, you know, um, has uh, great projects and products. And um, the sentiment, the dyes that they have. I was telling Vicky that I love the little. I call them little tails at the yeah. end of each of the sentiments. Yes. So I love. I I bought one at the one of the last, um, you know, at home events, mm -hmm. and I really love it it cuts so nice and i need all of them and i think they're called sentiments sentiments yes because <laughs> you're going to be sending sending them, them yes but I they are just like you said like i like them because you know when you're doing a slim line or a card and a mm -hmm. lot of times sometimes i kind of get so involved in the coloring of whatever i'm coloring yeah i don't really want to stamp a sentiment or whatever so right. a die is just so easy and yeah, Fun and, and it kind of makes it pop out, you know, a little bit yeah. more, especially if you do, because I know you, you do a lot of background. It. Yeah, exactly. And you could layer it to make it dimensional. So these, she has mm -hmm. so many different ones. I love them. I want them all. Yeah. And you need them all, because you need a sympathy. You need to get, well, you yeah. need a <laughs> exactly. beautiful, all happy the things. Yes. And a happy, happy birthday, birthday. Yes. Vicky's is coming up April the 7th. Oh, yes. So we'll need to get one of those happy birthdays. And yes. So you want to get to It's Cheaper Than Therapy and do some shopping, for sure. <laughs> for sure. There, but see, how easy is that? And yes. she, had that, she has that balloon die that she showed with the cards. So. Yes, I love all of the physics dies. That, oh my goodness, Maria has a plethora of everything yes. that you need, right? Yes. Especially, I love all the Sizzix. It's just uh, like awesome, all the dyes, because a lot of times, you know, you can't find them in everywhere. And yeah. she has them all! She has them all. And for any, and different types, you know, any kind of fold and everything. Oh, so. yeah, I love them. That butterfly spinner card was. I know, I love that. Just, yeah, it yes. was beautiful. <laughs> so we're running out of time, but Maria, That's we right. love you. We, we really thank you. We're praying for you. And right now, It's Cheaper Than Therapy is offering 40% off. Wow. wow. That's awesome. Off the wow. sentiments sale. So Ooh. we need all of those. You just need them all. Just wow. get them all. <laughs> there you go. Yes, so there's no coupon code needed, and this will expire on March 22nd. Awesome. So that's awesome. Okay. Well, everybody, well, thank you. Um, thank you, everybody. And we will be back shortly. Hey, everybody. Leanne.
Jen here with Creative Memories. Welcome back to another fantastic event from Expo, a shop and play all day where I hope you'll see some new products and love them from Creative Memories as I share them and jump online and order so that you can start creating some great pages. I don't have much time today, so I'm going to jump right to it and um, we're going to show you some fun stuff. All right, here we go. Always first things first, how to get in touch with me. Happy Crafting with Leanne on Facebook. That's um, the easiest way you can follow along, see promos and specials. Um, if you would like to place an order, creativememories.com slash cm slash scrappy lee is the way to go directly to my link. And you can order anytime and see promos and specials there too. So um, be sure to check that out and always come and visit me and share your fun stuff um, that you're creating and and jump right into the fun that we do um, on my Facebook page and on the website. Today I've got our beautiful, I love it, new Party Time collection. If you haven't seen it, you need to check it out. It's good stuff. We have such a fun new um, border punch. That's the birthday cake, cupcake border punch, the balloon punch as well, and then fabulous paper. Um, we have Party Time paper pack, which is $9.50. That's the photo mat pack gorgeous two packs of stickers, $8.50 each. Um, they each come with three sheets of stickers, which you'll see. I'm going to use those a little bit today in this page layout we're going to create. Um, and actually, I'll pull these out and show them to you real quick. They're always so fabulous, and it's a really nice, nice paper. Um, the stickers are nice and thick, and when you peel them off, they come off in, in such nice, smooth, peel. So we're going to use those today a little bit. So we have two gorgeous packs of stickers that go with this collection. We have also an embellishment pack that you'll love as well, the Party Time Collection. Um, it's also $9.50 along with three gorgeous paper packs. So this is so fun. We have the Party Time Brights, which is um, the, a lot of the paper that I'm going to use today. So you can kind of see that. Nice, nice bright paper. Um, we have the Party Time uh, Fast to Fab um, inspired pages, which are fantastic because they're pre-printed and you can just put your photo mats, put your pictures down, and boom, you're done. You can have a page done in about two minutes. And then our Party Time Blue collection, which is another gorgeous collection a little bit on the masculine side, which is great because a lot of times parties, you don't want them to be too frou-frou and feminine. And you have these great blue paper packs now. So three gorgeous paper packs, sticker packs, photo mat packs, and embellishments. So I'm going to jump right in and we're going to create a page um, layout that is for birthday celebrations. I mean, you could leave off the birthday part and obviously this could be graduation. You could use the blue paper for Father's Day. You could do just so many different, there's varieties of things you can use it for. Um, the border punch, I'll show you right here real quick. Um, gorgeous. I mean, you can do so much with it in colors. Um, you can layer it. You can add stickers to it. Like I said, it doesn't just have to be birthday. You can even snip the candle right off the top of it and make it a different kind of celebration. It could be wedding. We also have the double balloon punch, which is so fun because you can make lots and lots of balloons to embellish your pages and kind of create your own effect um, however you want. Again, any celebration that you use balloons for. Here's a little sneak peek at some of the blue papers. You can celebrate anything just about with the blue papers. So um, don't be stifled by thinking just birthday. You can do so much other stuff with this from the balloons and the candles and just think of all the things you celebrate and what we do with our fun papers and things that we have um, for creative memory. So real quickly, I have pulled out literally two pieces of cardstock. I'll have our beautiful navy and aqua. So one sheet each of that. And then I have one piece of the Navy Happy Birthday paper from the Party Time Collection. I have a piece of the confetti paper, which has little tiny cute dots on it. And then the banner flag paper. So I'm going to create a two-page layout with one, two, three, four, five pieces of paper. And hopefully I can get through it quickly and um, show you all how simple it is to create from our page layouts and from our project recipes. Um, before um, last last um, Shop and Play, I showed you how to do a fun one um, that was so easy. And just a reminder that when you order one of the collections, then I can send you via email the PDF of the actual page recipe or project recipe so that you can create your own page recipe and embellish and do the fun things with it that you like at home. So first things first, we're going to start with actually um, our navy cardstock. So let me put this out of the way. 
And with our navy cardstock and your happy birthday punch, if you haven't gotten it, you need to get it, the cake punch, um, you'll love it. The first thing you're gonna do is take and go down the left side of your page and you're gonna punch out your cake. So I'm a right-handed person, so we're gonna, I'm gonna flip it around even though it's gonna be the left side. I, I'll have to go back or turn it back around for you in a minute. Um, so you're gonna just simply line it up to the notch that's on the punch, punch it out, move it through, line it up again, just right there on the other side. You can see how easy it is to line it up and make sure it's flat. Punch, again, you're gonna punch. And keep going. Now I've tested this and I'm able to do it in 20 minutes, so I'm hoping that <laughs> I can do it again live for you so that you can see how easy it is to do and actually in 20 minutes. So, that I, I cannot be made a liar. <laughs> Alright, so that's it. Simple. Punched out the top left side, so if we're going to call that the left side, I'll turn it just like that so that you can see. Here it is on the left side. Now the next thing we're gonna do is take our paper trimmer and we'll move the punch out of the way. We're gonna take our paper trimmer and um, trim these with the cake punch still on there. We're gonna trim it at four by five and three fourths. So obviously the four inches is here. Um, so at five, we're gonna go five and three fourths. Let me move it over so y'all can kind of see what I'm doing. So you see your five there. It's tricky to do because you got to get that candle just right in the right spot. There's a half and there's three fourths. All right, so we're going to trim it down, have that ready to go. And now the next thing I'm going to do is just turn it just like that and cut four inches. So that one's easy to do. Actually, I'm going to turn it upside down to have a nice flat, flat edge. So four. Another four. And that one should be four. Perfect. So I have my three four inch cuts. I'm going to set that aside. And now for the rest of my blue paper that I have here, I need a four and a half by six and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my six and a half. Put that piece of blue aside as well. And then I'm going to trim it down to four and a half. And this is going to be one of my photo mats. All right, so I have my navy blue ready to go. There's my three pieces. Here's my two pieces of extra. I'll put those aside. Now I'm gonna move on to my aqua. Same thing, I'm gonna take my aqua paper. Get all those little boogers out of the way. And I'm gonna punch again with the cake order punch. And I'm right-handed, so like I said, I'm gonna put it here right on the right-hand side. And then you can actually see better how I'm punching. You just line it right up. Stick it through on the other side. Line it up with your pattern. Punch. I love it when I do punches because it's so satisfying. Satisfying when I see my punch come out on the other side. I don't know why. I just love it. It's like creating something super cool every time. All right, so there you have your punch again with the cake and the aqua paper, and we're going to cut it again at five and three fourths. So open it up. There's my half, three fourths. Okay. And then again at four. I'm going to cut that three times. One. Two, three. All right. I'm excited. Spring's around. Spring is around the corner because I actually have lots of birthdays in my family for spring. So my daughter's is come. One of my daughters is coming up in March. Actually, March 27th, and then I have another one. Okay. So now we're at six and a half. Let's cut that six and a half. Here we go. And four and a half. Oh, did I do that wrong? Six and a half. Okay, here we go. Uh, four and a half. I, um, my daughter, I have one in, one in March, one in May, 
and then we have a summer birthday in August for all three of my kids' um, birthdays. So I love spring birthdays. So this paper is fantastic for me because I love just getting excited about birthdays. All right, so next up we're gonna have um, one of our designer pages and I picked the flag banner page, which I love as well. And the first thing I'm gonna do is cut off eight and a half by six inches. So here we go, eight and a half is my length. And I have this nice little strip left over. And then after the eight and a half, I'm gonna cut it down to six. And I should just have two even squares or rectangles just like that. So these are six by eight and a half, put those aside. And then this nice little strip that I have left, I'm gonna cut three and a half by three and a half. I'm gonna use the reverse on one side. See how fabulous our papers are because they're reversible. Every paper of the designer paper has these, has um, another pattern on the other side. So very little waste when you have our papers because they're so cute on both sides. You just don't wanna, just don't wanna throw it away. At least I don't anyway. So we have a three and a half by three and a half. That's the reverse side. And we have a three and a half and a, by three and a half that is the same side. So there we go. All right, so I have all of my papers cut out. Can you believe that? I am almost ready to assemble. And it was so simple and so easy. So next up, I'm gonna just close that arm. Next up, we're gonna get our happy birthday navy paper that I, um, is from the Party Time Collection, and that's gonna be the base of my first page. And real simple, I like to just lay out and assemble my pages before I put them together. So how cute is that? You already have some nice, fun embellishments at the top of your page, and you haven't even done anything yet except punch. I love it. So you have that, and then in the center of that one, we're gonna put the blue, navy blue, sorry, couldn't get a hold of it, and match it up. And there you have your navy blue cakes with your others. So fun. And then what I didn't do, I forgot to tell you about, um, is this one, the page with the banners on it. We're going to just cut a pendant out of it. I am going to line mine up. I'm so bad at this when I don't use my pen and mark it. So I'm gonna mark it just to be safe. Right in the center. Let me get my six. So half of eight and a half is four and there we go. I'm gonna do it at four and fourth. Is that correct? I think so. All right, so that's my mark. And I'm going to just do a simple cut. I usually eyeball this because I'm... I'm a messy scrapper sometimes. I like to just do things. <laughs> do things my own way. And you know what? I am going to do it that way because I'm just... That's how I like to do things. I don't mind it being not exact. Some people like it perfect. I don't always mind. So I've cut out my triangle. Here's my pendant that's going to be right at the bottom. And for the sake of time, we're just kind of making it quick. So very quickly, there we go. And then I'm going to go back to my aqua paper. I have my aqua mat that's going to go here. And I'm going to pull it in. Oh my goodness, my sweet kitty is talking to me. He likes to supervise when I'm doing my work. So I apologize for the meowing in the background. So there you have your base of your layout is ready to go. Then very quickly, I'm just going to get these down. And there's my helper. <laughs> Loki, you are not a very good supervisor. I think all you want are snacks. All right, here we go. Get that one down. And one more. Get my pendant down. Are you helping, Loki? Hmm? You might be famous someday, kitty cat. 
right, here we go. My next one is down, my pendant, and then I'm gonna take my mat. Oh my goodness, I have five minutes left. I have got to get moving. Get that one down. All right, here we go. I'm gonna have to bust a move to get these on there. So this one's almost ready to go. The next thing step is gonna be embellishments. So real quickly from our beautiful sticker packs, I'll show you that I'll take, let me just take this one. I like this one across the top. Very simply, I'm just gonna run it across the top here, line it up. You may or may not want to cover up some of the um, embellishment of the um, punches at the top, but I kind of quite like that one. And then again, you can take pop dots. I'm sure that you, um, foam dots, a lot of people like to use foam dots as well as um, um, pop dots as well. And from the embellishment pack, which is so fun to use these as well, you can pull out you can pull out some of these embellishments. And these are nice because they don't have it adhesive already on them and that's why they're fantastic for the foam dots. So with the foam dots, you can just simply take these, pick one out, layer them. Even if you just, it, like I said, if it's not even a happy birthday, take your foam dots, stick them on, or foam squares, and layer it up. I like to sometimes make my page layouts, even though I don't always have my pictures on hand, um, and I have my page layouts, and I make little files that have my um, page layouts ready to go, and I'll file it as birthday, and so when I have a birthday or a um, you know, celebration event, I'll go through my pages that I've already created, pull them out, and then try to match up pictures and have them ready to go. So you saw real quickly 10 minutes. It was so easy to use a project recipe. That was just one page of a two-page layout, and I'm running out of time, so unfortunately, I'm not going to create the, the double page layout, but you can see instructions here. It's so easy. You have your cut instructions and how to um, cut all three of your pieces of paper, and then you'll have this beautiful instruction sheet with a two-page layout that you get to create with the pages when you order them. So order a collection of um, paper from us or from me, and um, I will send you the project recipe so you can create your own project recipe. Before I go, I wanted to share with you some fabulous fabulous new stuff um, that's coming out. How about that? Spring is around the corner and we always celebrate National Scrapbook Day every year with a new collection. And the new collection this year is this so, so super cute um, a shamrock collection. So it is so fun. The book is beautiful. I don't know if you're feeling lucky or not, but boy, when I got this book, I felt lucky. So I love it. It's a beautiful shamrock print with kind of a minty green. We have gorgeous paper pack. It's a sampler pack with multiple colors um, of cardstock inside. We also have these gorgeous laser cuts. So if you like to have pre-cut pages that are ready to go, you'll love this because it's two-sided. As I mentioned before, our laser cuts have a, a muted, more softer color side and then your bolder side. So this laser pack has three sheets. They're all two-sided. Then we also have our um, kit that is out. And so our project recipe kit. Now, usually you, use, you can get these yourself. It used to be you could only get these through an advisor, but because of um, Corona and the issues with having to stay at home and a lot of virtual um, um, business, we're able to sell these to you or you are able to order these yourself if you like. But this project recipe kit is fabulous because it's um, once, a, once in a lifetime chance you'll get it this year um, because this is new. This is the kit for 2021. So this is the National Scrapbook Day kit. And then we have a fun embellishment kit as well with all the gorgeous shamrocks. And if you order the big bundle with the book, I'm sorry, with the cardstock, the paper, and the embellishments, then you'll get this fantastic shamrock and sketches book. And just like the ideas um, with the project recipe, this one is super fun because you get multiple ideas um, where you're not locked into specific cuts, but you just have an idea of an example of a sketch and then, idea, and then examples of how they've been created with our projects. Um, collection so with our kit so when you order this kit for National Scrapbook Day you get all of that except for the album the album separate um, however if you place a $50 order with me between now and the 25th I'm gonna actually give you one of these project recipe kits free so I'm gonna send this to you free 
when you place a $50 order. If you place a $100 order with me, I'm going to send you a pack of cardstock. Now, not this one, the National Scrapbook Day, but we have lots and lots of colors of cardstock. Here's some examples of our, our fun cardstock colors and some others. And it's 10 sheets of cardstock gorgeous paper um, color through and through and you'll love it so i'll send you that with our with a hundred dollar order before i go because i just love it and i want you to see it real quick the emerald gemstone collection again check it out on my website and go and order because i think you'll love it the gemstone gemstone um, border punch that's new for the border maker system you'll love as well um, laser cuts oh my goodness such fabulous stuff Variety mat pack, again, gorgeous. Stickers to, that are to die for, three sheets of stickers. And then our papers, two sets of um, Tone on Tone and a designer paper pack that you'll love. And the album is gorgeous. It's this beautiful blue with spattered paint look to it. Um, this is the Fasta Fab album, so you can see that it has pages in it already that you can create and just add embellishments to, and you'll have your pages ready to go. Check it out. These are fabulous collections that are out for spring and summer. And all the time, there's new stuff. At least twice a month, um, there's new collections and new things added to the website. So always check with me. Go shop. Buy some stuff. Love it like I do. And if you really, really, really love it, I'd love it if you join my team. Because right now, the promo is... Join for $49 and you get $50 worth of free product plus this beautiful blue album. So if you want to join or you're interested in joining, reach out, talk to me. I'm happy to show you what Creative Memories is all about. And sometimes it just ends up you're your best shopper. So even if you're not interested in building a team but you love our products, I certainly would love to have you on my team. So um, reach out anytime. And I hope you all have a wonderful day at this Shop and Play event with Expo. And I look forward to seeing you again. All right. Ciao. We have some new layering stencils from Pink Fresh. These are awesome and they're so easy to use. I'm just going to show you right here what you can do with these. So basically you are having different colors of your inks or other blending um, mediums that you use and you're doing certain colors on certain layers and it turned out this beautiful image. First we have this crafting stencil overlapping leafy wreath. So it comes with all, I believe it's four layers that you can um, blend in. Yes, there it is. And you can just use whatever blending tool you have in your craft room already. And there are super fun ways that you can change it up. Here's this one. This is the mountain scape. I have not used this one yet, but there are so many different opportunities you can do with this one. Just amazing. And here we have this starburst. This one looks super fun, right? Maybe for like a birthday card. Look how fun that is. And it is not hard at all. Here we have the garden florals. Super pretty. Again, you could do many different colors of flowers or leaves. Maybe a Mother's Day card or get well soon card. Hanging garden. This is maybe for some vines and flowers. Super pretty. These are all super easy to use. You can always buy one and try it out and see how fun and easy it is to use. And those were the Pink Fresh Layering Stencils. All right, guys, it's finally here. The brand new Graphic 45 Collections. We're going to start with this Catch of the Day. I love this one. It's kind of a spinoff of that Sun Kissed. Um, and by the sea, and it is so, so pretty. I love all the brand new designs and framework that they included in it. We're just gonna look at this one in more detail. So first off, here's the chipboard for that one. And I love all the little postage stamps and sailboats and just all the extra fun things that they include in the kit. Here's the ephemera assortments. 
These are already die cut it out for you, so there's no need to fussy cut little images. You just pick them up and just adhere them down. Super fun. And here is the beauty right here catch of the day. I really love this one. I think it's more towards the masculine side, so great for Father's Day cards, you know, or maybe a card to your husband, brother, really anything. And it comes with a sticker sheet as always. And I just love it. And this would be a fun, fun album to make with it as well. All right. Next up, we have Elegance. I really love this one. I think it's my favorite floral one that they've done. I love the black and the pink and how they just complement each other so well. And so here's the chipboard for this one. And it gives me kind of that Paris vibe. Oh, yeah, there it is, the Eiffel Tower. So it gives me that Paris vibe. And here are the die cut assortments. And again, no hassle of fussy cutting. You just pop those babies out and glue them down. And here's the elegance paper. I love the black and the pink so much. I mean, you could do so much with this. Super pretty. Next, we have Bird Watcher. This is a super fun kit. You can see all the vibrant colors. Here's the chipboard for it. Super fun. And these birds are so colorful and so cute. And that's Bird Watcher. And there's the sticker sheet for that one. All right. And next we have this Mother Goose Deluxe Collector's Edition. And what that means, it comes with the chipboard already in it, so no need to buy it extra. And you can see the fun nursery rhymes that they gathered into it, like the Humpty Dumpty and other fun little items in it. And so there is the chipboard and the two sticker sheets that you get in it as well. And I just love how well the sticker sheets uh, coordinate with it, and they're just so easy to use. And there's your papers at the bottom. Super fun, and that was the brand new Graphic 45. Thank you, Courtney. Next, I'm gonna show the Picket Fence Studio products. These are amazing. I can spot here some slimline stencils. So this one is the slimline fish for, in for infinity stencil. Here is the slimline mermaid scales stencil. Very nice, very intricate too. Here is Slimline Whales and Mermaid Stencil. The whale is in the middle here and the mermaid is in the background. They also give the negative of the pieces in there so you can do blending either way. And I see some splashes up here to work with. Here is a stamp. Here is the Mermaids of the Sea stamp. Very lovely with the coordinating die set as well. That is Mermaids of the Sea. Another stamp set is Mer People of the Sea. That is cute. And again, it has a coordinating die set for Mer People of the Sea. And I really liked this individual whale tail. This is a whale breaching stamp. Very nice. Here's some new dies from Picket Fence. Here's the netting cover plate die. That could actually coordinate with the mer people and mermaid stamps we just showed. Here is happy birthday word die. And that's what it looks like. Very nice. Here is seriously word die. A thank you word die. Big hugs word die. Welcome word die. For the love of coffee word die. That's kind of funny. I'm trying to figure out what card I'm going to put that on. Cheers word die. A hey you word die. These are lots of fun new words to work with. And the negative sparks cover plate die. 
Some more items from Picket Fence. I've got stencils and some cute stamps to show you. So first I wanna show you the raining envelope stamp. This is a, such a cute small stamp to work with. All those envelopes falling from the sky. That's like when you order one too many packages online. Here is mails here stamp. There's your mailbox stuffed with your letters and the coordinating die for this one. Here is an I love you stamp with a coordinating die. Very nice. And some stencils. Here is a six by six stencil, like a burst. This one is called center flower stencil, six by six. Here's another six by six stencil. This one is called movement stencil, six by six. That's interesting. Here is a slimline center flower stencil, a slimline movement stencil, and a slimline English brick wall stencil. My last batch of new stamps from Picket Fence Studios. Here is Kylie Girl. She is cute with a Kylie Girl coordinating die. Here is lilies for spring with a coordinating die. Here is fancy congratulations sentiments. With coordinating dies for each sentiment. And a job well done stamp set. It has lots of cute phrases and sentiments on here. Just to tell someone a job well done on a cute card. That might look good. And those are the new stamps from Picket Fence. Some more products from Picket Fence Studios is a brand new paper glaze color. These work great with the stencils that we just showed. This color is Lime Zinnia. That is a beautiful and pearly green. A brand new product also is the Picket Fence Paper Glaze Enhancer. This awesome mixed media product you add to your paper glaze equal parts and it turns it from being this pearlescent color and gives it a matte finish. So that is super cool if you're looking to use that color, but get a different texture from it and look. Some new sequin mixes. Here's a beautiful, pretty sequin mix. This one is Purple Rita. Very nice to add to our sequin mix collection. Here's another beautiful sequin mix. This one is Aqua Seas. Aqua C sequin mix. And here's a new gem mixes. These are rhinestones. This one is Oceans of Green. Oceans of Green gem mixes. And don't forget, you can use your store's display case to put all of your picket, picket fence sequin mixes and gem mixes in to store them nicely. And you can see all of your colors at once. So now for our card lovers, we have a brand new card kit that comes with 10 cards ready to make and very easy to make. Here are the first five. You can see they are animal themed. We have some gorgeous stamps that we already stamped for you on the page. You can see the beautiful backgrounds and awesome 3D cards that you can learn how to make. Those are the first five. and I just love this little truck down here. And our next five are floral and you know so proud of you sports and then a little dog one super super cute here's one over here you can see this is a pop-up card and you'll learn how to make that and it is surprisingly super easy it just adds some fun to your card here's another pop-up card it says so proud of you and then another one life would be rough without you and that one's just so adorable and then another 3D pop-up card as well. So you get all 10 cards in your package and everything you need to make them. 
Here we have another card kit from Stampendous. This one only includes five cards, but it is just as good and fun. So here you can see these beautiful flowers and butterflies and fairies, and I just love it. You can see we also use the 3D card here again. And then we see we have some 3D action over here with this butterfly and this flower. It's just a super fun car, and there's so many different things you can do with it. The new sprinklets embellishments from Buttons Galore. So this is the Playful Penguins. There's little tiny penguins in there. They are perfect for your shaker cards. Here is Wine Country. Fruit Cocktail. Beach Balls. My treats, pot of gold, fish tank. Oh, that's so cute. There's little fishes in it. Wintry mix. I see um, some snowmen and some um, snowflakes, mouse ears, orchid. Here's sugar and spice sprinklets. That's Gingerbread Man, Candy Hearts, Amore, Poker Face. That one's so cute. All the cards are even different. Robin's Egg, October 31st, Star Spangled, Easter Eggs, Bumblebees, Limeade, and Bunny Trail. Oh, that's cute too. Very similar to the sprinklets is the shimmers from Buttons Galore. These are 3D pearlescent beads and holographic sequins. Here is Unicorn Legend, Sea Turtle, Heartfelt, Sunset, Pretty Flamingo, that one's cute, Lunar, Splash, Caribbean, Celestial, Dolphin's Tail, Snow Squall, and Desert Sky. These again are perfect for shaker cards or adding embellishments to your project. Another great product from Buttons Galore is these sparkling sentiments. These new cute sentiments are pre die cut pieces that are words and they are already embossed. So that saves you so much time and you get a bunch of them. This is the winter sentiments. I see frozen, burr, cute. This is the home sentiments. Together, welcome, home, very nice. This is the spirit sentiments. Here is team, smile, dance. Here is the Christmas sentiments. Those look fun. Greetings, Yuletide, Christmas. Next is the autumn sentiments. Harvest, hello, fall. The Halloween sentiments. Here's happy Halloween, scary, spooky. Very pretty colors they picked for those words and Noel sentiments. Here's joy, peace, Noel. Very nice additions to your project here. Our next brand I would love to share with you is Stampendous. These are amazing brand new embossing powders that just have a fabulous shine. I'm gonna start with this one right here. This one is called Converge. You can see there's some purple, gold, blue, just some fun colors in there. Next we have this array of blue and this one's called Submerge. Kind of reminds me of like under the sea colors. 
Here's another one called Beach. I really like this one because it comes with this brownish color that reminds me of sand and it's just perfect. All right, next we have this one right here called Aperture. This one is amazing because you can see all the different glitters in there. A must have. Here we have Spring Sparkle, some gorgeous light uh, sparkly colors. Next, we have Summer Shine, an almost darker tone to the Spring Sparkle. Probably look amazing on top of it. And then we have Pink Chic. Super cute. And then we also have these Encrusted Jewel Kits. We have three of them. And what these are is they actually come with a bigger uh, metal inside that make even more uh, amazing images. And so there's this one called Encrusted Jewel Silver Kit. And that's fun to play with. And here is the Encrusted um, White Kit. And then lastly, we have the Encrusted Gold Kit. So these are super fun and very interesting to use. And then we also have these embossing enamels, they come in this fun pack of uh, 14 jars. Here are all the names right here. And what these are, they're mixtures of different colors and different tones. And what you can do with that is actually when you put your Versamark down and you put it on your card or your page, wherever, and you melt it, you can see it makes almost this marble effect. Super unique design, and I just love it. Hello everybody, it's Joyce from my craft room. Thanks for stopping by today. Thanks for uh, thanks to Stampin' Scrapbook Expo for hosting us once again. And um, I'm really excited to show you these today. We're gonna be playing with um, layering stencils. This is really um, hot, fairly new, really easy and really quick. This is the one we're gonna work on today. Let me switch cameras here. Okay, this is the one we're going to work on today. This is the Garden Floral set from Pink Fresh Studios. They have lots of them, and I'm sure they're coming out with more. This is the card sample that I made with it, and what we're going to more or less duplicate today. So we're going to just get started, and I'll give you more scoop as we go along. What's really, really nice about the Pink Fresh ones is that this is a set of five stencils. In each one, stamped in the upper left-hand corner is the number. It says stencil one on this one. Stencil two, three, four, five. And in each corner, there are little marks that you can line up with your cardstock as long as you cut it to five and a half by four and a quarter. So once you do that, and I know you can't see it, but there's a little mark here and a little mark up here. Um, for me to know where to line up my cardstock. So I'm going to just put that there. I'm going to tape it down. Um, if you're new to stenciling or you're, you know, you're doing a lot of, a lot of stenciling, I always love to use the Thermoweb Pixie Spray to hold my stencil down. It's a temporary spray adhesive. It works great. I'm not using it today just because we're, we're going kind of quick. Um, I'm using Alta New Dye inks. In this cute little tray that I got from Etsy, it's a shop called The Ink Stand. They have these for larger ink pads as well, but I'm telling you, I love it. I strongly encourage you to go have a look. And we're going to use some different applicators. This is Altenew's larger blending tool. 
we're also going to use their smaller ones and this picket fence life-changing brushes brush it is a teeny little thing and it gets in all kinds of teeny little spots so so what you do is you cut your cardstock to five and a half by four and a quarter ink up your applicator and I'm going to use the bigger one for this layer because it's all one color and it just slid on me darn it well, we'll keep our fingers crossed. I guess I'm pressing a little hard. That's the problem. Um, and we're going to just lay down all the ink. A little more over here. And there you go. Now, I like to add a little of my own shading. So I'm going to take this little picket fence brush and just add a little darker green to the base of some of these leaves. And that's what's so great about this little tiny tool is that you can get in to all these little fine spaces without putting the ink everywhere. See how nice that works? It's just going to get just the bottoms of the leaves. I don't want to shade the whole thing. That would kind of defeat the purpose. Whatever your preferences are, I mean, these work great. You know, obviously there are larger ones too. If you want to cover more area, but um, the blending tools, like I showed you before, and these um, brushes are great. Whoop. Okay. Okay, so layer number one is done. Now we're going to go on to layer number two. Again, we're going to just line up those corner marks. And I didn't have it right side up, which is the other nice thing about the markings on here. You can tell which is the front, which is the back, which is the top, which is the bottom. So lay that down. Put our tape back down, and now we're going to use the smaller Altenew brush because we don't have as much area to cover. Now this is a very light pink. This is uh, Rose Quartz from the Rose Petal ink collection of Altenews. Don't be concerned that that green is showing there. It's supposed to. Probably a good idea to get a little more ink on the outer edges because otherwise these sometimes might look a little too much like um, no line watercolor if you know what that is if you're familiar with it you stamp with a really light color ink and then add in your colors and it looks like you painted instead of stamped which is cool, but sometimes you want a little definition. Now, a lot of these stencil sets come with matching um, dies and stamps. This one in particular does not, but most of them do. All right, so there's layer number one. Now, just because I like a little variation, I'm going to add a little kind of a peachy color to the center of these two blooms. All right, so layer number two is done. Let me move this up so I don't keep sending it flying. Of course, everything that we're using today, you can find at mycraftroom.com. There is a coupon code, it's EXPO15. It is good for everything on the website except for kits and heat laminators. All right, now for these two blooms, we're going to use a yellow. And then I'm going to go back with my pink 
and get these little buds. You probably can't even see them on here, but there are little buds. In fact, we're going to use the darker pink. No kit today. There's too many choices with all of these stencils, so I'm just going to say, go have a look, see what you like. Okay, now, um, the other thing I wanted to do with these two was to, was I going to add a little pink or a little, I think I was going to add some pink. Yeah, a little pink on the centers of these. And actually, my my little brush would have been a better choice, but okay. On to the next layer. Now this layer is going to give us some centers to these flowers. All right. And we're going to use the darker pink for these two. Wait a second, I'm not straight. I am not straight. A darker shade from the uh, rose petal set of inks again. And we're going to do pink in the center of the yellow flowers. All right, and one more layer. This is more greenery. Tape it down. And we'll go back to our green brush. We're going to use a darker green this time. This is the olive shade from the same uh, tropical ink set as the bamboo. Used my bigger brush again, but that's all right. Okay, and then just a little brown because there's openings for the centers, and I'm just going to kind of scribble that green off my. Brush, get my brown ink. We don't need a lot. Okay. Take off this one, and we are done. Now, all you have to do is assemble your card. And you are good to go. And that, whoop, easy on the tape. And that is what we did here. Now, on this one, I also added the um, one of the scalloped, stitched frames. <laughs> I can't remember the name of it exactly, but um, a little frame and a white card and some clear droplets and you are all good to go. Um, now I wanted to show you some of the others that are available. This is 
a set called Friendship Blooms. Now I put this on top of the Alta New floral swirl mo motif embossing folder. And this one comes with the dies. Obviously, not comes with, but has matching dies, the stencils, and the stamp set. So that's one. There are also several slimline uh, layering stencils. This is You Are My Favorite. Now I did this on a, on top of a um, 2D, uh, I don't know if you can see that, um, slimline lattice die. I really like this one. And again, coordinating stamp and die. And there is the stencil set. This is, come on, incredibly grateful. Now I use this for a holiday card. Whoops, my label's coming off. Um, and I put it on top of one of their striped stamps. Um, but this is just a floral pattern, so you could use it any time of the year. And again, the coordinating stamps. And the stencils and the dies. Now the die will cut out the center or the outer edge. Or both. Okay, and then we have a few that I don't have samples for, but I just want to show you. This is Choose Hope. That's the stamp image, stencils, and, come on, the dies. So that's on the website. Now, on my website, you go under Paper Crafts, you go under Stencils, and there is a category called Ulta New Stencils and Pink Fresh Stencils, and the matching dies and stamp sets are going to appear there as well as in the stamps and dies category. So if you're just interested in these, you don't have to go any further than the stencils category. This one is Infinite Blooms, really pretty kind of a kind of a swag of florals. And again, the stencil set and the matching die set. And this is what it looks like. Okay, and one other from Pink Fresh is another slimline set um, called uh, Be Courageous Stamps, Stencils, and Dies. The die cuts out the interior. Um, this is what it looks like. Really pretty. Just can't hardly get the whole thing in the camera. Okay, now Altenu, as I mentioned, also has a variety of the same idea. They do not have the markings on the stencils, but I found them very easy to line up. This is the Flower Bunch stencil. It's just the stencil. Much like the garden florals we did today, it basically fills in the whole card front, so there's really no need to cut it out. And you are beautiful. Now this one comes with matching uh, stamps and dies. Now this is the whole layering set. And the dies. And there is Tranquility Rose. I love this one. Now this one, I used the stencil to color the whole thing, and then I went back and stamped over it with the stamp set. Here is the stamp set, 
and you can see the outline of the flower. I just stamped that right over the stenciling with some Versamark and put some gold embossing powder over it. And I think it turned out really pretty. I think it just gave it just that nice little extra bit of dimension. So if you ever think you don't really need the stamps, well, they kind of come in handy sometimes. Plus, of course, you can just stamp. And then last but not least is Kind Reminders. Again, I don't have a sample of this one, but it's two beautiful flowers. Matching stencils and dies. And the dies kind of give you an idea of what the images look like. If I can get it out of the glare. Okay, so um, I think that's it for me today. Don't forget to go check out mycraftroom.com. Expo 15 is the code. And I will say thanks for stopping. Have a great day. Welcome back, everybody. And you know what? I'll tell you what. Leanne, you don't get much cuter than Leanne from Creative Memories, right? do you? Right? Beautiful. I just, I just love her. And, you know, um, she always, you know, um, she's so good at putting those uh, pages together. And, you know, she was trying to, she says, now I know I can do this in the time allotted. So, but the products, um, I have one of, I, uh, have one of those border punches mm -hmm. and oh my gosh it's so it those like butter it does it's it's not one of those you got to stand on your head yeah. and all that yeah. stuff to do so um, and there's so many great designs and and how she used it and put on that page it just it just made such a huge difference um, other than just you know putting a mat down so um, I love um, um, just love the the punches that Creative Memories has, and, right. and all the projects, and and uh, we were talking about the uh, the uh, National Scrapbook Day paper packs and everything. And oh my goodness! Okay, if we're friends on it. Facebook, <laughs> you saw last night. I probably bombarded your your <laughs> with ding, pictures ding, ding, from St. <laughs> Patrick's, and I need an album <laughs> for all my pictures that I took, and that was only like. 10% of the pictures that I did take. <laughs> so I definitely, when that came up, I was like, oh my gosh, Dave, I need this whole thing. Yes. So I already messaged her, was like, okay, I want, I, I need the whole, whatever that is, I need it all. <laughs> the you bundle know. plus. Yes. So I'm so excited because, yes. yeah, the minute we, I'm like, yes, because I need it. Even the album has uh, the shamrock yeah. and I oh, love yeah. that. It's so complete. It it's is complete. definitely complete. But like you said, that all the punches have just always been. I still have my my corner punch from 1997, and it still works like oh, yeah. like the day when I bought it. It's awesome. Um, yeah, you know what was funny when she was talking about this is just Leanne. If you're still here, <laughs> you were saying you had a, a a child's birthday in March, May, and August, and so do I. My three kids. Oh wow. March, Scarlett just had her birthday this last yeah, Thursday. Yeah. And then May, my daughter Julia, the twentieth, and then Jake, my son, is August nineteenth. So wow, look yeah, at that. That's, I thought, wow, There's that's a connection crazy. right there. Yes, but like she was saying, the designer paper is double sided. Um, just every all the everything is. I love Creative Memories. I always have, yep. and yeah, I'm just you're gonna want to go and and see what Creative Memories has to offer. Look at how excited I am. <laughs> so. And we love the cat, by the way. Oh, yeah, the cat. How adorable is that? We all have that pet that Loki, is there. Loki, I think she said Loki yes. is the cat's name. So that, hello, Loki. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see. The show special is free National Scrapbook Day kit with every $50 order, which that's awesome. And then free cardstock pack with every $100 order. Then also what's is cool is if you want to join... Uh, Leanne's team for $49, you're going to get $50 in products plus a free album cover set. And then you could earn discounts right away. So that'd be cool. Like yeah. she said, if you don't want to even like go out and sell that much, but you could just shop for yeah. your own and get that discount. So that's always exactly. good. So 
Um, there's no coupon code needed, but it will expire on March 25th. So nice. if you're going to want to go visit. That's right. So Leanne, as always, you and that kitty gave us the perfect project today. <laughs> Did you catch that, Mickey? Perfect project. Yes. Okay. I'm reading what she's, somebody... She's oh, stopping. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I did. All right, <laughs> once again. All right, we're gonna move on to. Uh, they said on the on they said Vicky, did Kelly send you to work with his credit card or something? LOL. Ah. That's what I saw. I'm like, no, he did not. She does Apple Pay, don't worry. Yeah, exactly. I do. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you again, Miss Lee, and Creative Memory is always great products. And then, uh, gosh, Creative Creations, oh, new new stuff. The uh, the pink fresh oh. layering dyes those I think are those are phenomenal. Oh my goodness! Beauty, beauty, beauty! Great to use, easy to use. The new graphic. I five. dye, I dye the the catch of the day, the red, white, and blue. Yes. Oh my goodness, that is like beautiful, right? Yep. The elegance was wonderful. The black and pink of that. Oh my goodness, yep. that's so. So pretty. Yep. And Bird Watcher, when we, uh, we both thought of Miss Alice, who loves yes, birds. So we Alice, both said yes. Alice right off the top of that. And then the Mother Goose yes. Deluxe Edition. Yes. Ooh. What a great, you know, that would be an awesome book to make. Yes. We're, to I put was, memories for with, you know, kids. I was thinking of Sean because he always makes beautiful yes, many albums. albums. Yes. And I was thinking these Graphic 45 papers would be awesome for one of his mini albums. Oh my yes. gosh, if he hasn't showed you, he should post one of his mini albums yes. online because they're just, they're perfection. It's, it's got pockets. Every, I bing, mean, bang, 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 Right? Yes. Some of the things you don't want to have. Yeah. The pictures. yeah. yeah. I'm just awesome. kidding. Okay. And they have um, picket fence. Gosh, they had stencils, stamps, and dies. Yes. Um, picket fence. Yes. The buttons galore. Oh, my goodness. So many great uh, great little mixes for your shakers. Yes. And then I know the Stampendous, you um, you like the... Uh, I love the Stampendous. And, and they also have kits, so if you wanted to order yes. like that five... Stampend Stampendous card kit is so cute with that little vintage truck. I'm anything that has a vintage truck, yeah. I'm all for. Yeah. I love it. That's still that's still a go. Exactly, and then also the picket fence, like the I lo I still love all the 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 glazes that she yeah, uses. Yeah, the and mixed then, media stuff. Yes, yes and for then sure. I thought that was so cool because it has kind of like a shimmer to them, but then if you buy that paper glazed enhancer, yeah. it gives it more of a matte. Yeah. So I've been buying tons of stencils, so I do need this medium to make it, to yeah, it, you yeah. know. And then try that out to see exactly. if you like that look. Exactly. So. I also, you know I'm a sucker for organization, so how they have the picket fence storage display case mm -hmm. for all those sequins mixes. It fits yep. perfectly. And right at your fingertips so yes. you can see and pull whatever, whatever you want to add. Exactly. Then the sprinklets and all those different themes and colors yes. and oh my goodness. Yes. Everybody run to Creative Creations right now. They are offering 50% off of everything online. Free shipping at $100 using the coupon code MARCH. And that will expire on March 30th. So. There you go. Very good. So, so thank you once again, uh, Creative Creations. Um, just a, a handful of great. Pro they have tonic as well. They have oh, yeah. so many, oh, so gosh. many great. So and of course, the diamond dots. Exactly, diamond dots. Can't yes. forget so about diamond dots. Check all those out. Just gosh, you're going to be able to shop there for a long time. Right, right. So, and take care, take advantage of that special. So, and then my craft room. Um, uh, demoing the pink fresh, uh, she has the pink fresh layering stencils, and um, and using you know the, all the different um, the different um, brushes. Exactly. Um, what am I trying to say? They are um, the uh, Altini brushes. They're yes. The, like, thank little, you. I could think of the name. Yeah, they're yeah. amazing. I love how she used that little teeny one to get those real fine definitions. Yeah. Those yes. are really like a must-have. I love working with those. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And once, you know, it's having the right tool, you know, and with that, um, and I think you can buy those in a pack with yeah. all the different sizes. Yeah, so, you can. Um, you know, you go from the big to the little, you know, getting in the nooks and crannies. And she had her inks all laid out. Yeah, really that was easy nice. how she could do that. 
But, you know, it, gosh, as she did the layering and the colors, it just, you know, made it come to life. And what's nice about those stencil stencils, too, is you can do, you know, that little bit of blending. You know, she was adding this and that. So, exactly. Um, love that. Um, uh, um, let's see. Yeah, I, yes. I really Sorry, did. Ahead. No, no, you're, you're good. I love that she showed the demo on how to use this stencil. Yes. Because sometimes, you know, I get it home and then I'm like, how do you do this again? So it was really beneficial to watch that video on how she layered it and how she was she turned it on the back side and mm -hmm. she showed that there's like little you know notches and stuff so that you'll yeah. know which side is right side up so I thought that was really informative and yeah. very like such a sweet yeah because if you video. saw that in a package you were like well you know that sounds like a great idea but how do I get that lined up exactly and, having, and, and or how do you know which way goes which or exactly yeah exactly. so that's really nice about pink fresh but there was this beautiful I love like we were talking about, even Sean was here when we were talking about how she had all the collections kind of with like just a, a, a mini album ring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. you could have the stencil, the stamp, and the die. So it's all there. Yeah. That, that is so genius to keep the collections together. And I loved mm -hmm. all of the pink fresh. She also had beautiful, oh my goodness, the Alta new stamps, the flowers and the dies. Yes. Oh, yes. They, those The Alton New always has, you know, um, the inks, yeah, yes. the, the, those layering flowers are always beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Them. So, ah. Yeah. And, she, and, you know, something she didn't show, she always has a lot of kits. She has the foil. She has the laminator. Oh, yeah. Show that she's done demos on. So. She's amazing. Her cards are just uh, gorgeous. Always, always. We were all like, look yeah. at that. Look at that slimline, gorgeous, gorgeous floral card. Yeah. So thank you so much, My Craft Room. Yeah. And right now the show special is save 15% site-wide at mycraftroom.com. Kits and laminators are excluded, but you can use the coupon code EXPO15, and this would be valid through March 27th. So that's a great deal awesome. on all that awesomeness. Yes. So, well, we want to thank you know all of our presenters and our sponsors today for joining us and and once again showing us great demos, great new products, you know, always new, new, new. So, yes. want to thank um, all of our sponsors and make sure that you take advantage of all those great specials, you yeah, know, that they oh have. So. Um, you so know I am. <laughs> yes, we know she has. <laughs> there ain't no am, but she has. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, but, uh, and then here at um, Stanford Scrapbook Expo, we have a couple things yes. coming up. Tomorrow, we have a great, one of our mega make and take events. Oh, it's going to be so yes. good. Yes, yes. So, uh, for those of you um, that, you know, got your box and everything, you'll be all ready tomorrow morning. I believe it starts at 8 a.m. Pacific time and even if you weren't able to get a box or you're new to us and we always love to see our new crafting guest is you can tune in and watch and then you know what you're gonna want to order we have a yep. few more left yeah that we can after you watch that you're gonna say I gotta have those so um, take advantage you can watch and watch and learn and then you can order your kit if you'd like and another special that we have going on is, and this goes on through tomorrow, I believe, is we have 30% off of all of our, our bags. We have our jute bags. We have our little card swap bags. We have Wondering Planner bags. We have little zipper bags for our card makers. So those are 30% all of those goodie bags. And then I know this next special you guys are going to love. Vicki's yes. going to tell you about our so, button special. Yes, 30% off all of our buttons, and that starts today using the coupon code TAKE30. So we have buttons from 2018. We have, I believe the lanyards are included yeah. as well. Yes. And the medallion. So if you have come to shows and you just didn't get a chance to order some of those buttons, yeah. they are on sale right now, and they are 2018 through 2019. 2020 and they are 30 percent off wow. so and also the personal buttons are up there too yeah. so even though maybe you haven't been able to go to the in in what is it called? in person shows <laughs> you still could get all of our personal buttons so. yes we so. want to see you with all of our buttons yes. the next time we see you yes. so and there's so many to choose from and so many awesome 
sayings that you know I'm sure that there's going to be at least one that's going to fit how you're feeling or Absolutely. you know um, it will cheer you up even, and 30% you know. off that's awesome using coupon code take 30 exactly and then we have our great um, I call it the uh, it's our welcome 21 kit that's yep. jam-packed full right up there. and yep. those are back in stock Woo! now so yes so I've been playing those. with mine I actually d I I bought one too because I just love it. I think it's so awesome because you could have a layout for the month. So by December, you're going to have the whole month. Exactly. I mean the whole month. The oh, whole yeah, year. Yeah. Scrap book. So exactly. It's, it's beautiful. And you have so much left over that you could make pages yeah. to go in between two. So I'm sorry. No, I'm no, just excited no, about good. it. No, I love good. it. <laughs> you are good. So with the bags and the buttons, you're going to go to the shopathomeevents.com and you're going to click on the merchandise button and it'll give you uh, a drop down and you can pick buttons, uh, the buttons, the bags, all of our different merchandise. Yeah. And then for our 2021 kit, you're going to go under workshops and find that. And uh, Sean will be posting the links as well. So, yep. so it's all going to be right there. So, um, uh, yes. Yes. I so think that's everything. Exactly. And also <laughs> for also for those specials, uh, we have the little ads. Uh, they're called sliders that come across. And if you click on one of those, it'll take you there too. But the easiest way, go go to merchandise and you'll find all the goodies. Right. So, awesome. All right, Miss Vicki Ville. Well, we've had a great we sure day. Have. And I know you guys have had a great time shopping today. So uh, just once again, a reminder, take advantage of watching our Mega Make and Take tomorrow at 8 a.m. Pacific time. And Miss Vicki Ville and I will see you at our next at-home event here at Stamp and Scrapbook Expo. Have Bye -bye, a good everybody. day. We love you. Bye. Bye now.